When a series has been around as long as the Resident Evil series has, bumps in the roads are to be expected. But after its prior numbered entries had gone in a more action-oriented setting, many fans of the series began to wonder if it would ever return to its survival horror roots. Resident Evil 7 Biohazard shows us the meaning of fear once again. Resident Evil 7 Biohazard opts to return to a mansion setting, much like the very first Resident Evil. You take on the role of Ethan Winters, and every man whose wife Mia Winters had disappeared several years ago in the bayou of Louisiana. However, upon receiving a cryptic call from her, Ethan goes to investigate, finding himself locked in a house of horrors. Unlike several other Resident Evil protagonists who had been trained in special forces or were cops themselves, Ethan Winters is simply an everyman, allowing you to experience his fear and believing it. Aiding in that experience is Resident Evil 7's shifting to a first-person perspective. Seeing the horrors of the Baker State in first person adds an extra feeling of uneasiness and tensity that you, that you really can't see with a third-person perspective, as with the first person, you're only limited to what's in front of you instead of what's around you. Though Ethan is a fine protagonist, the true standout character of Resident Evil Biohazard is Jack Baker. This towering behemoth will taunt you, torment you, torture you throughout your experience of Resident Evil Biohazard, and it will leave a lasting impression long after you finish your business there. The gameplay of Resident Evil Biohazard is your standard Resident Evil formula. You explore large areas searching for keys or puzzle pieces that will allow you to continue uh, through the game, picking up herbs along the way to restore your health or ammo in order to keep fighting off the hordes of monsters trying to kill you. You can also pick various packs of chemical fluid throughout the game to either uh, refine into more powerful ammo or create first aid sprays which completely heal you. However, there is a, no a limited number of chemical fluid located throughout the game, so be weary on how you use it. Though the average playthrough will be around 8-9 to nine hours, Resident Evil Biohazard, like past entries, encourages multiple playthroughs, with collectibles scattered throughout the map that unlock new weapons, higher difficulties, and standard fare. Resident Evil Biohazard's biggest change comes in the form of its VR implementation. Playing the game in VR is an experience all on its own, as the dread and fear factor feel much more intensified, though it does have some downsides, such as constantly displaying Ethan Winter's floating arms. It can be a little bit nauseating for playing for exper extended periods of time. It still makes for a fun time. Resident Evil 7 Biohazard is a true return to the survival horror roots that the series established all the way back in the 90s. To feel fear, tension, and dread while exploring instead of boredom while watching everything explode in gigantic set pieces is such a joy to return to. The cast and performances alongside its PlayStation VR experience elevate Resident Evil 7 into something truly special. Though it doesn't always hit all the right notes, it hits so many of them that it makes you excited for the future of the franchise. Resident Evil 7 Biohazard is truly a must-play game.